Um, this poem is called Forget. They say, eventually you'll forget. You'll forget about that girl you're trying so hard to keep in your life. They say all those nights you lie awake thinking about what you could have done will fade away one morning with the sun. One day you'll just wake up and there'll be no more feelings. And yeah, you traced her name into your ceiling, but suddenly she's not that appealing because you forgot. You forgot what it's like to feel her hand in yours. And you used to talk about how you had no clue what you'd do without her. Well, look at you. It took you some time, but you've forgotten. You erased that part of your life within a year, and though you may think about what you had, it'll only ever be the bigger things. You'll envision that movie date and then boat ride. You won't recall the way she laughed at everything you said. How she'd always leave a plate outside for the dead because it made them feel more welcome. Well, did I mention you're still alive? Even after all the times you said you wouldn't survive without her, you didn't die, and she... She wasn't your everything, your all, no, she was a simple plight on this course we call life, and though it was a tragedy, magically we're still standing on two feet. And you see, we made such a big deal about this high school relationship. Though, so, so I'll throw you a simple question that goes a little like this. Have you forgotten about me like I've forgotten about you? Because you see, if you, if, sorry, if you ever gave me another chance for love to exist, I'd make sure it wasn't a temporary bliss. I'd throw myself back into my demeanor of kindness. But I can't keep waiting on this fantasy, because I tried to be everything you wanted of me, but after six years of constant addiction, I've given up. I've gotten addictive to everything, and that's what you did to me. You got me hooked on every part of you that I'd see. Because I could stare into your eyes forever, and I could play with your hair until it tangled between my fingers. I could freehand your entire body in my sleep. And yes, I understand standing on this probably makes me look weak. And all my heartbreak simply came from within. And all these things I remember, they took days to recover, but they were shoved so far down into my mind, so let me ask you. Do you remember it all happened to begin? Because darling, I do. I remember almost everything about you, but I also remember nothing at all. So every time my chest happens to rise and fall, I'm constantly changing. My entire mindset is always rearranging. And the thought of you now only comes in random surges. Like when I walk in the old market, my body unconsciously drifts towards the slides. Or when I walk outside and all I see is dark clouds, I remember how I got you to go play in the rain with me. It was a heavy downpour, and you said you wanted your first kiss in this exact spot. The corner of 12th and Main Street, but you see, I forgot. I forgot how that exact moment felt. I remember how the rain washed away your makeup as you had just cried. I remember how we had to take off almost all of our clothes because your mom didn't want to get anything wet inside. But almost every emotional feeling I felt for you has died, and I know I've been a little different lately, but it's because of time. And with time, we learn from the mistakes we're going to have to make. We learn from the success we never thought would materialize. You see, change does exactly that. It changes everything, which brings me back to my point. Impermanence is unavoidable, and change is inevitable. And throughout all of my own change, things just fell apart and didn't feel the same. Because you see, darling, this is the last thing I'm ever going to write for you. Because I need to get you out of my head and leave you with the dead when my eyes aren't set to kill, they're only set towards my own will. And that's the only thing I want more in life right now, is to rid of your echoing voice and leave you like you left me as simply as a choice. <laughs>